BandLab kind of makes guitar pedals. Specifically, Tysco, the people who make these pedals, are part of the BandLab family, and they sent these to me, so I'm going to have some fun and make some music with them. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to show them to you, and we'll see what happens. Make more music. In addition to the guitar pedals, BandLab also sent me the Mono Tick 2.0 accessory bag that you can attach to compatible guitar cases. But we're talking about the pedals. We have ourselves some fuzz, delay, and overdrive. Now let's unbox these beautiful pedals with magic. Oh, look at that. You gotta love colors. Yo, I'm Eumonic. For the first time, I once again, thanks for being here. Okay, aside from this very cheap Digitech effects, multi-effect pedal, and this tiny little ditto looper, I haven't dove in, dove in, dived? I have not yet fully experienced <laughs> the, uh, the joy of collecting guitar pedals, and I figured once I started, I wouldn't want to stop. This is not a review because I really, I don't, I don't know guitar pedals, but they sound really awesome. They have great colors, the buttons feel good, and they work. So, positive review from a very inexperienced guitar pedalist. And I think the lesson in all of this is when you have something new or when you're wanting to get into something new, especially if it's a, a creative endeavor, as is the case with manipulating sound waves via varying voltages, it's good to experiment. So that's the lesson. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's um, partake in some sound wave manipulating shenanigans. Actually, I already did. When I got this, I made this beat. Check it out. While experimenting, I created something that I didn't expect and something new. It's good to allow yourself to make mistakes and just figure out what the things do. The buttons, the knobs. For example, they call them foot pedals, but you can, you can use your hands, that's fine. And they're also called guitar pedals, but of course, you can plug other things into them, like my analog synthesizer. <laughs> having fun. Expen <laughs> more experimenting and the distortion on the banjo is incredible. I've never done this before um, and it just sounds, it sounds ugly actually, it sounds terrible. That, that's kind of the point of distortion though, it's like ugly beautiful. I still need to find a use for the fuzz and I'm thinking, I'm thinking that goofy looking bass guitar over there. kind of sounds bad right now, but 
It's crunchy. All of them are just ugly and mean. Circa 2020, kind of appropriate. I know what this needs. Some tambourine. And of course, some, some banging drums will help. Had a lot of fun with these and it did not come out the way that I expected that's why I put an emphasis on experimentation I'm not gonna do anything with that beat it's more important what that beat did to me and what I was able to do and learn about this new equipment in the process I don't know how to transcend realms quite yet but music is a great way to escape for just a little bit. If you enjoyed this, watch some videos right here and here's some one that the YouTube algorithm will think you'll like. You made it this far, subscribe, stick around. Thanks for being here. Peace.